seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, this is getting fun now, isn't it? The flurfs have found me. Now the echo chamber is broken. Open debates and verbal brawls in the comments. I love it. What are you going to do, Noel Raffle, now that you're not the only idiot in the room? By the way, I'd like to mention, if any flatty wants to have an actual, proper, moderated debate over voice chat, I offer you my platform. Go ahead. Put me on the spot and force me to think without my scripts. Make a fool out of me. I double dog dare ya. Before I get started, can we just take a moment to note the intellectual dishonesty of the Flat Earth Brothers? They found my video about their criticism of Israel's blue marble and gave a beautifully passive-aggressive comment. Their first point, and I quote, it most likely wasn't a string. Let me read that again so that this can fully sink in. It most likely wasn't a string. Now let me read that one more time, but add the implications I gather from it. It most likely wasn't a string, even though this is my first piece of evidence presented in the video, and I offered no retraction whatsoever to this piece of evidence, indicating I have lied and admitted to lying to my followers. I posit that if they don't take the video down, they have no honor whatsoever. A claim from Flat Earthers that has confused me since I first got involved is the claim that everything in the night sky is just a light. Stars, planets, their moons, passing satellites, comets, all just lights projected from the firmament, the magic dome over our heads. The very first time I heard that claim, my mind was filled with questions and objections. But I've seen them, I thought. I had a neighbor who had a really nice telescope when I was a kid, and through it, I saw Mars. I saw the shadows of the moon's craters. I even saw the hale Bob comet on his 1997 pass through the solar system. Weirdly enough, while I was watching that last one, a group of cultists were committing suicide because they believed in a UFO following in the comet's tail. But that has nothing to do with Flat Earth, right? I think the most important object in our night sky when it comes to indicating a globe, aside from the obvious ones, is Saturn. Before I delve into why, let's go over some basic facts. Saturn is a gas giant, the sixth planet from the Sun, and is composed largely of hydrogen and helium. It's been known to us since ancient cultures, due to its size making it visible with the naked eye, but its most distinctive feature was first identified by Galileo in 1610. However, he obviously couldn't see it very well. What he mistook for two moons were actually the planet's iconic and massive ring system. So why is Saturn significant to the globe? The answer is two things that you can see in this image from the Cassini, its rings and its shadow. These are also visible through a telescope, and that's important. We can verify this phenomenon for ourselves, without any help from any part of any conspiracy. Are you understanding where I'm getting at yet, Flat Earthers? Well, in case you can't, I'll summarize this in the form of some questions. Can you explain to me, geometrically, what would cause portions of Saturn's lights to periodically disappear in the patterns that they do? Can you give me a working explanation of how the series of lights that make up the planet Saturn exist in such a way that clearly indicates a ringed spherical object with smaller spherical objects rotating around it? What is happening when Saturn's rings disappear entirely if it is not that they are parallel with the Earth? Can you tell me in what way is it unreasonable to draw conclusions about the shape and function of our world by observing the exact same thing happening in the sky above us? If Saturn is round, Earth is probably round. If Saturn has moons locked in a gravitational orbit, our moon is probably locked in a gravitational orbit. If portions of Saturn's rings are obscured by the planet's shadow, our moon is probably being obscured by Earth's shadow during eclipses. I'm not saying this is conclusive evidence, what I'm saying is it seems to indicate a globe, and I see no Flat Earth explanation that indicates otherwise. I guess this video could have been posed as a challenge. I challenge Flat Earthers to give me a working model for Saturn, its rings, its shadow, and its moons on a Flat Earth model. Explain to me how it is simply a light in the sky of the firmament. If you can do that in any way that makes any sort of sense, 
geometrically, logically, or otherwise, you may just get my attention. Otherwise, I posit that it is a ball, and therefore Earth is a ball. Everything points to the globe, including the lights in the sky. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, which is Dead Kennedy in Space. My name is Kevin, and I'm out. Lucky or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our sand.